Welcome to the Michael Jordan Film Room, aka the Kobe Bryant Film Room. And once again, we're back with another episode of the Michael Jordan Film Room with highlights brought to you by me, right? So we have to, this is the reason why I created this channel, right? So we could go deep diving, you know, in Michael Jordan's career. And uh, basically this channel is for a lot of the younger generation so they can come back and get my input on what I see and what I experienced during these, this time frame, right? Now, there's this narrative that Michael Jordan couldn't go left. There's these narratives that uh, we're done with the 90s. And that's the reason why I created this channel, y'all. I actually created this channel before that because there was disrespect before that. But this reiterates my point. Of, of creating this channel, right? So we're gonna get into these Michael Jordan highlights and show you his ability, his overall impact on the game, right? This is Michael Jordan, the 89 season, right? Against the bad boy Pistons, right? One of the best teams of the 80s, a dynasty led by Isaiah Zeke Lord Thomas the third, right? So, uh, like and subscribe to the channel, right? The Michael Jordan film, film Room. Like and subscribe to the Kobe Bryant Film Room. And also, one more thing. Shout out to M MJ, his Airness 23 for this footage that I'm using right now. Subscribe to his page as well. Let's get into it. Bill Cartwright and John Sally will jump it up at center court. The Bulls and the Pistons. We've got our first turn. Luke okay, so Paxson brings up the ball. The ball Jordan Patrick. gets up high, gets a lot of lift on that jump shot. A lot of lift. Good bounce pass. Jordan was a good passer out the, out the air. Good bounce pass. Pippen lining it up. Okay, so you got Joe Dumars on Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan pull-up game is pure free throw line jump. Cash. Right? So look at Joe casually bring up the ball. That's a pickpocket. Ah. It's Michael Jordan on your ass. So Jordan was a monster, an absolute monster stealing the ball. Offensively and defensively, he was amazing. Off ball movement. Oh. I want y'all to check out something. I want y'all to check out this. This is uh, prevalent with Michael Jordan and Kobe. Look how they move without the ball. Check this out. See how he moved without the ball. A lot of players don't move without the ball. Stay in constant motion. Makes it harder to guard. Michael Jordan mid-range is cash. The microwave on Michael Jordan. Nope. Woo. Good pass. So you see the court vision, right? You see the court vision of Michael Jordan right here. He's surveying the floor. He knows he got the first step on damn near everybody, anybody in the league. But this is Vinnie Microwave Johnson. So he's not that quick. So he could beat him off the first step. Check out what Michael Jordan does. He already looks, knows where everybody's at. Takes, gets flash memory of where everybody is on the court. 
right? Because Michael Jordan was a great passer despite popular belief or despite the narrative that they pushing now. Let's check it out. Check out how Michael Jordan creates those teammates. And you see how they all collapsed in the paint, right? You got one, two, three, four pistons. Five. One, two, three, four, five. You can see, I think that's Isaiah in the far right over there. But you can see all of them attention-wise on Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan just dishes it all. Great pass. So here goes Mike. Fake the other way. Another beautiful pass because the defense, once again, like Kobe Bryant in I do on my channel, Michael Jordan has gravity, y'all. All these defenders are worried about the scoring threat of a Michael Jordan. Check this out. Check how they collapse. I want to, uh, let me slow this down. Let me slow this down for y'all. Okay, Michael Jordan uses his handle to get to a spot right there, right? Spins around. And he's going past. Boom. Everybody's lost and bewildered. That's playmaking right there. That's high quality playmaking. Now they tell you, they teach you not to jump in the air and pass. But this is Michael Jordan, you know? It's different when he does it. <laughs> so huh, look at the defense. Look at the defense. Look at the defense. This is the reason why this man right here won a Defensive Player of the Year award, right? Some people say he deserved it. Some people uh, say he didn't deserve it. But in my opinion, it's well-deserved. In close races like that, it's well-deserved. When a man is playing D like this, trust me. This is his, his, this is his to me, this is his defensive prime. Everybody talks about his offensive prime. This is his Jordan at the peak of his defensive abilities as well. So check this out. Look at the grit. Look at the bump. Right? So they won't let you play a lot of defense like this today unless it's the playoffs. You know, in today's era. You know, no knock on those guys, but they just don't play this intense on a game-to-game -game basis like this anymore. A lot of Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful defense. And see, I want to say this. Defense has been heavily devalued, right, in the last, let's say, 20 to 30 years where you got ESPN talking heads. All they care about and all they talk about the majority of the time is defense and triple doubles. And those are, I mean, offense and triple doubles. Those are valuable, like, right, offensive the game and the uh, triple doubles are valuable in some aspects, right? But defense wins championships. This is how you shut somebody down and you dominate them. Vinny Microwave on Michael Jordan. That's practically one on one. He's going to beat him every time. Okay, he missed smoke the layup. And yes, you, you, we are done with the 90s kids. People smoke layups in today's game, right? So don't just try and act like it's a 90s thing when people miss layups. All right, so Jordan with the stutter step rises up. And when you see how high Jordan rises up, look how high Michael Jordan rises up for this jump shot, right? So Michael Jordan's high, y'all. He's high. So when he shoots that thing, he he squares up. He's parallel to the rim. This man is high off the ground. And not only is he high off the ground, he gets up fast for that jump shot. Don't let the television fool you, yo. There goes Zeke. Zeke making his move. Bad shot. All right, so here comes Jordan. Gets to the middle of the paint. Pass. All right, Paxson. Jordan. Got Isaiah. Oh, uh, uh, Joe Dumas. Sorry. Joe Dumas on that. Young Phil. Sort of. Kind of. All right, so here comes Jordan to operate. And this is what makes Michael Jordan dangerous. He tried to post up, but he could operate anywhere. 
He's like a doctor. Look at this. The Jordan. Whew, that's an awkward layup. Okay, here goes Jordan's defense. Here goes Jordan's defense. Getting his, getting his hands in there. Jordan had very quick hands. Pass. Oh, he beats he beats uh, Lambeer on that baseline. All right, so they go with the they go with the they go with the bigger defender here, right? Uh, Pistons were damn near trying everything. They went with <laughs> they tried to give them different looks, right? Joe Dumars, Vinny, now Dennis. Check this out. Jordan gets to a spot, it's over. You have to catch him before he gets in the air, and I think that's that's the Jordan rules: catch him before he gets in the air, right? Then then hammer. You know what I'm saying? Here goes Mike. They try to double team him. Look at the double team. Wide open shot for Paxson. Now you gotta see that. So all you all you uh we're done with the 90s people. Jordan was double team. Now he didn't face a zone as consistently as the the zone defense era, but he did face a variation of the zone. And he did face double teams and triple teams. You can see it on the court. Let's go. This is footage, y'all. Look at this. Come out. Look at that. That's a double. Paxson. Cash. Right? So net, let's let's not lie. Let's stop the lying. Let's stop the BS. Let's get the basketball, y'all. All right. So here goes Jordan. That's one-on-one -on -one right there. Oh. Yep. Camping out in the lane. They all camping out in the lane waiting for him. He, he just pulls up. Once he pulls up, it's over. Look at look at Dennis. Dennis just tries to go to the boards because he, he he knows he got no chance. Okay. There goes Jordan. Paint defense. Good hands by Jordan. Oh. And by the way, when you see a guy go man to man, man to man can work both ways, right? I see a lot of people saying, oh, he just went one on one. Bro, in, back in that day, playing defense one on one, you had to be a great defender. If you were a great defender, you were a legit great defender because you had to guard your man one on one on an island sometime, right? They didn't, they didn't do a lot of switching like they do today. There was no hiding people. You had to be able to guard your position. If you couldn't guard your position, most likely, you couldn't stay on the court. So let's check this out. Jordan, woo, with the crossover. So this is Dallas Rodman, right? This is no slouch. This is a guy who can guard all five positions. This is a this is a guy who was instrumental in the Bulls' three-peat run, right? His, the second three-peat. This was a guy who was able to lock down Shaq one-on-one, -on -one, right? So this is a great defender right here. So... <laughs> All this modern era stuff, and Jordan couldn't do this, Jordan did that. Look at the handle, like I said. Look at the handle. Woo! There goes Rodman. Rodman goes down. Jordan pulls up. Ankle break. Look at that. Woo! You know what I'm saying? So look at Jordan fighting for position. Jordan fights all the time. Gets to a spot. Ha! That's a shot. Isaiah with the brick at the end of the clock. Okay, so here goes Mike. Uh, foul by, by Joe, who is also a Hall of Fame defender, Hall of Fame player. Let me not let me not limit him. Good pass by Jordan. Paxson, cash. All right, so the, the Bulls are coming back. So I want you guys to take a look at the score. Pay attention to the score in this game. 143, 1 minute 43 seconds, right? 109, 107. This goes to, to Jordan's ability to score in bunches, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it. So there goes Jordan's defense. Uh, Zeke. Isaiah throws the ball out of bounds. 
Now, Isaiah made some mistakes in closing games, man. Uh, throwing the ball, sometimes throwing it straight out of bounds and things like that, or throwing it to the opposite team, you know, things like that every now and then. Okay, so here goes the double. Good pass by Mike. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Look how he surveys the court. He knows where everybody's at. Everybody's on mic. Everybody's eyes are on mic. Tie game. 115. Look, everybody's eyes are on mic. Including John Sally. Everybody bird watching. Horace Grant crushes it down. There goes Jordan's defense. Isaiah Strip. Isaiah sold this game. Jordan with the finish. So I want y'all to see one minute left to go. One, 111, 109. Well, this is nine point second, seven seconds to fast forward it because of the highlights, but check it out. Check it out. Pippen does his job, gets it to the <laughs> leading score. The NBA's leading score, the tongue is out, it's over. He's already at the rim. Okay, so here we go. This is how you close the game the double team, the triple team. Paxson, cash. There you go. Oh, you almost hit that. This is an exciting game. To get the ball to Jordan, let him close it out. You got the best closer in the world. Jordan with the brick. There we go. 116, 111. Pistons won't go away. But this game is over. Pistons were very tough during that time period. No time left. Okay, so I, I wanted you guys to take uh, take a look at that, you know. Jordan had 40 points, 14 points in the uh, 40 points for uh, uh, 14 points in the fourth quarter. You can see how Jordan took over games. You can see how he impacted the game. You can see how he was all over everybody's ass, right? Everybody who he was matched up with. Um, his passing ability was there on display. His defense was on display. His scoring was on display. So as you see. Michael Jordan was the real deal, but we're going to continue to keep doing highlights like this, right? And to highlight certain things, you know, you can always find a play here or there where somebody misses a shot, misses a layup, shoots the ball off the backboard. Hell, in 20, in this year, I could show LeBron James hitting the side of the backboard, you know what I'm saying, on a fadeaway. So let's not be ridiculous. Let's calm down. Let's talk real basketball. But anyways, this is the Michael Jordan film room, a.k.a. the Kobe Bryant film room, and vice versa. But I appreciate you guys for enjoying this content with me, and there will be more to come. Peace.
Asian, Asian, half man, half amazing. Cause in my physical, I can't express through song. Delete stress like more trend than extend strong. I drink my wet with Medusa, give a shotguns in hell. From the split that I lift in in hell, it ain't hard to tell. Yeah. 